how to update the salary WPS employer ID, GPSSA employer ID, and daily limit. To start, always remember to securely log in to business online. First, go to Administration. Click on Other Parameters and Modify. Click on the reference number. Please note, the salary WPS employer ID has 13 digits, including the prefix if any, the number of zeros, and the company number. Once you modify the parameters, click on Save. Review the saved parameters and click on Confirm. You've successfully updated the parameters as required. How to create a salary information file in Microsoft Excel. To begin, open a new file in Microsoft Excel. Enter employee details record. In column A, type EDR in all the rows. In column B, enter the 14-digit person ID number issued by the Ministry of Labor. The number is printed on employee labor cards. In case the number is less than 14 digits, add zeros before the number so it adds up to 14 digits. In column C, enter the routing code agent ID. This is a nine-digit code assigned to the employee's bank or agent. For Emirates NBD, please use the following routing codes. Emirates Bank and National Bank of Dubai, Emirates NBD, 30262-0122. Emirates Islamic Bank, 7034-20114. In column D, enter the employee accounts IBAN or salary card IBAN from the bank where the salary is to be credited. The IBAN has 23 characters. In column E, enter the pay start date in year month day format. Example, if the pay is for April 2025, the pay start date will be 2025-04-01. In column F, enter the pay end date in year month day format. Example, if the pay is for April 2025, the pay end date will be 2025-04-30. In column G, enter the number of days for which the salary is being paid. Example, if the pay is for April, enter 30. In column H, enter the fixed income amount, including all fixed payouts like basic pay, HRA, transportation, etc. Please enter the amount without commas and with or without decimals. Example, 1,200 or 800 or 800.00. If there's no contribution in this field, enter 0.00. .00. In column I, enter variable income amount including overtime, incentives, bonus, etc. Please enter the amount without commas and with or without decimals. Example, 1,200 or 800 or 800.00. .00. If there's no contribution in this field, enter 0.00. .00. In column J, enter the days on leave for period. This pertains to the number of days the employee has been on leave without pay. If no leave has been availed, enter zero. The last row is meant for employer-related information, known as salary control record. This row can be created only after filling the employee's salary details. To create the last row, follow this order. In column A, enter SCR. In column B, enter the 13-digit employer unique ID, establishment number of the company with the Ministry of Labor. If the number is less, add zeros before the number so it adds up to 13 digits. This field is validated against the master database held in WPS. In column C, enter bank code of the employer. This is a nine digit routing code assigned to the employer's bank where the corporate account is held. For Emirates, NBD, please use the following routing codes. 
Emirates Bank and National Bank of Dubai, Emirates NBD, 30262-0122. Emirates Islamic Bank, 7034-20114. In column D, enter the file creation date in year-month day format. Example, if the file is prepared by the employer on April 28, 2025, the date will be 2025-04-28. In column E, enter the file creation time in HHMM format. Example, if the file is prepared by the employer at 1 p.m., the time will be 1300. In column F, enter the salary month in MMYYYY format. Example, if the payment is for April 2025, the month will be 042025. In column G, enter the EDR count, the total number of employees to be paid salaries. In column H, enter the total salary amount without commas and with or without decimals. Example, 12,000 or 8,000 or 8,000.00. If there's no contribution in this field, enter 0.00. .00. It will be validated to be the total of all fixed and variable components from all the EDRs in the file. In column I, enter the payment currency as AED. In column J, enter the employee reference number. This is optional to be entered by the employer only if they maintain a unique file identifier at their end. If not applicable, please leave it blank. Save it as a .csv file. Once the file is ready, click on Save As. In the File Name field, enter the file name in the following convention. Example. If the Ministry of Labor Employer ID is 965625 and the file was created on 25th April 2025, at 1 p.m. the file name should be 00 under Save as Type, select CSV. Click on Save. Rename the file as SIF instead of CSV. Once done, this is how it looks like in Notepad. How to upload a salary WPS file. Go to Payments. Now click on Initiate. Click on Payroll Services and then WPS, Salary Payments. Under File Name, click on Add. Once the file is added, the file name would appear as shown. Select Debit Account and Value Date. Enter the relevant information under Reference in your statement and click on Submit. Review the summary and if the details are correct, click on Confirm. If not, click on Cancel or Back. How to view the status of a salary WPS file. Go to Payments, click on File Uploads, and Salary Upload WPS. If the file status says ready for verification, you can proceed with verification. How to view the reason for salary WPS file failure. If the file status says verification failure or rejected by bank, double click on the record to know the reason. Scroll down to see the reason in detail Apply the required correction and re-upload the file. When the file status says ready for verification, proceed with verification. How to verify a salary WPS file. Go to Payments. Click on Pending Activities. Click on File Upload and File Verification. 
select the relevant file, click on Accept. Once confirmed, the Flexible Authorization window pops up. Select No if the transaction will be approved by the default approver. Select Yes if a specific authorizer is required to approve the transaction. If Yes, a selection of authorizers appears. Select the relevant authorizer to approve. Choose the right arrow to add or the left arrow to remove. Click on Submit. After submission, a confirmation window pops up. How to authorize a salary WPS file. Under Payments, go to Pending Activities. Click on File Upload. Go to File Authorization. Select the file to be authorized and click on Authorize. Verify the details, view the salary file upload, and click on Authorize. Click on the authorization type, choose Token, and enter the token. Click on Submit. You've successfully uploaded a salary WPS file. Please note, in case of additional approvals, the transaction will move to the next authorizer's queue. If a releaser is required, the transaction will be available in Ready for Release. After the payment is authorized, the releaser needs to release it to the bank for processing.